12 months ago, I purchased a brand new 2021 MG ZS, a Chinese built import and the first of the new ZS's to arrive in Australia at the time. I've slapped a bit over 18,000 kilometres on it in both city and country environments, which let's face it, are a little tougher in Australia than other countries. So let's see how it fared. Starting with the pros, for the $22,000 price tag, the MG ZS is certainly value for money, packing in the features. With automatic headlights, Yamaha car audio with Apple CarPlay, synthetic leather trim, 17-inch alloys and rear view camera, just to name a few. The MG ZS is economical, getting around 9.1 litres per 100 kilometres in the city and about 5.9 litres per 100 on the open road. With the price of fuel at the moment, that's been a great advantage and a huge cost saver. There's been no noticeable change in the economy over time either, which is also a great sign. In the 12 months since rolling out of the showroom, the ZS has been in for its 10,000 km service that was a grand total of $243. Now approaching the 20,000 km checkup, that fixed price service is $285. So both running and servicing costs for the MG ZS are pretty reasonable. The overall build quality of the MG is great and has held up well over time. I think this was probably one of the biggest questions I was asking myself going into this, hearing plenty of horror stories about Chinese built cars, so I'm pretty stoked with the result. There's no rattles or squeaks appearing in the interior and no noticeable deterioration of any of the surfaces in the car. In Australia, the MG ZS is holding its value really well, with private sales fetching between $17,000 and $19,000. And with the issues facing overseas manufacturers and shipping logistics, that trend looks like it'll continue for some time. Another great advantage of buying a cheaper car is of course the price of insurance. Full comprehensive cover for the MG ZS sets me back around $70 a month. Overall, I'm really happy with the ZS, its reliability, overall comfort and array of features. If I was really going to split hairs though, there are a few things about the ZS that do rub me the wrong way. First of all, there's a noticeable amount of wind noise in the cabin at highway speeds. Normally with the music on, that's not really a problem, but sometimes you just want to drive in silence and that does make it a little difficult. Again, being picky, for all the features jammed into the ZS, there is one that it lacks, and that's front parking sensors. It does have sensors fitted to the rear, so surely someone would have thought to add them to the front as well. Overall though, I'm really happy with the car and would highly recommend the MG ZS for someone looking for a modern, feature-packed car at a lower price point than its comparative rivals.